and all these niggas is watching. You are now tuned in to the Brown Spade. Okay, so uh, today, guys, we're gonna talk about. Sorry for the noise with the motor coach. Huh? So today, we're gonna talk about. Uh, we're gonna call her Brick Bay. <laughs> I don't know her name, uh, but on a serious note, uh, before I get started, I want to say: Shouldn't anybody get hit with any brick? Shouldn't anybody get hit with any? Violence should be the last resort. Let's just put it that way. Let me say that first and foremost. But, um, oh yeah. So let me get my shout outs first. Uh, because I, I want to give the shout outs to the, the more recent people who subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Brown Spade. That's one word, Brown Spade. And don't forget to hit that like button. It doesn't cost you one cent. Please subscribe to Brown Spade and hit that like button. So first I would like to give a shout out to uh, Chatting with Mrs. V. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to Adam and Geneva, cute tubers. And I also, hold on a second. It, it seems like everybody want to drive down this street today. I also want to give a shout out to Embrace and Reborns. Those are the most recent subscribers. So I want to give you guys a personal shout out. I appreciate you. So anyway, back to the, uh, again, I'm calling her Brick Bay. I don't know her name and I'm not trying to make fun of her, but I do see that this is a problem. Well, first it's, it is said, um, it is said um, that she, she, this young lady was walking around slapping people. All right, and not to mention just two years ago, this young lady, she um, had a GoFundMe. She raised $4,000. I did see that. Now on this recent incident, when she had this, this huge hematoma on the side of her face, and I'm not gonna show the video because I don't wanna get flagged, so that's why I, I am saying it, because I don't wanna get flagged with YouTube. So please, people, bear with me. So she has this hematoma, for those who haven't seen the video, on the side of her face. And she's spewing out the N-word, talking about where y'all let, why y'all don't protect me. Uh, I'm a black woman, y'all should protect me, this and that. But anyway, she just came out with another go GoFundMe, and she's raised over, well, the last time I checked, it was over $35,000. Uh, is it a scam? <sighs> Possibly. Why, why have a go GoFundMe? If you out here starting trouble uh, with people that you don't know, and then you expect, and that's that's what I really want to talk about, is because I hear this so much, and um, now it's time for me to speak my my piece on it, put my my two cents in it, so to speak. A woman. A real woman is not going to put herself in a position where she thinks she can do anything in society and, and, and a stranger is just supposed to walk up and defend her. That, that makes no sense at all. So for her to think, for any woman to think, because she's a black woman, that if she go out here and put herself in harm's way with anybody, uh, any male run up in his face, she, that doesn't give her the right to do what she want to do or that doesn't make a person who don't know her just come into and walk into her situation not knowing the details of the situation. Now, granted, like I said earlier, I'm against violence. You know, violence should not be... I don't condone it at all. Violence should be the last resort. But... And I'm, I'm just tired of hearing don't know the body protect black women, but you can't be up in men faces uh, with that masculine energy. It's just not healthy. It's not. <laughs> it's not going to work. It's going to be a bad outcome. 
And for a thinking man, he's not going to touch you because he understand you. He know you want to. He know that's what you want, so you can provoke him to get in trouble to go to jail. But my question is, do you think it's right? And this question is to, to a female as well. Do you think it's right that anybody male just walking minding his business, see a woman getting into it with a, a man? He doesn't know any details. Do you think he's supposed to just go over there and risk his life? So let me give you a scenario. Let's say that this man walking down the street, minding his business on his way home from work. He's married with kids. He's walking, but in the parking lot, he see this woman fighting with her boyfriend. He doesn't know her boyfriend, but because this narrative been going on, that don't nobody love black women, which is not true. He goes over there and get into the affair. The boyfriend pulled his gun out and he shoots him. Now that man who is a husband, who is a father, is now will not make it home because he put himself in harm's way because he was trying to protect the sister. Right? So you see how that could go left real quick? And I've seen it happen on, on many occasions. Many occasions. I know some personally that it turned out going south. You should never jump into people's affairs. Now, however, let me be clear. So how could that man have handled that situation? Now everybody have access to cell phones. Call 911. Give a description, give the street, and keep it moving. Stay out the way. Stay out of the way. Because you don't know what that situation may bring. You have no idea. And, in, and when we're talking about domestic dispute, in most cases, they both will turn on you. Even police be very cautious on going to domestic disputes. So, but just to say that black women are not protected, you can't have it both ways. That's all I'm saying. You can't, you have to carry yourself like a woman should. Because a man know he can't be aggressive in another man's face without there's gonna be an altercation and a life could be lost. A man know that dealing with another man. So he's always gonna come with respect no matter what. And even if he don't come with respect, he ready to cross that line knowing what the consequences are in most cases. And I'm talking about men, not boys. It's a big difference. So anyway, um, this young lady, back to this young lady. Um, I don't know what to say. I will say that uh, it's apparently uh, she don't like men. Let me say that. And um, I would love to hear you guys comment. So please put your comments down below. I, I think she, I don't know if she have mental issues, uh, but I don't know anybody with something happened. Well, I know we're in this day's age, anything happened, everybody want to video themselves, even at the hospital, even at a funeral. It's like, it's crazy to me. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand it. I'm not trying to understand it. It just doesn't, does not make sense. But I don't know if she have mental issues, but I do know that there's a deep rooted hate um, for black men. And from my understanding, this young lady is from Somalia. So for her to be spewing out all these, you know, and this and and that, you know, first of all, Somalians don't even classify themselves as black, but that's another subject for another day. So now all of a sudden she's got here and blended her way in. And now because she has a promiscuous lifestyle, she think that men hate her because that's her lifestyle. I, I don't know what she's thinking, but if that's your lifestyle, live your lifestyle, but you don't have to degrade men. If that's what you're doing, then leave. Why are men is in your mouth? Why are men in your mouth at this point? If you chose that route, why are you still spewing these things? So anyway, without further ado, um, I'm gonna play this short video and you guys let me know uh, what do you think. So this is another video that does not has anything to do with violence. So don't flag me YouTube. This video is showing a previous video of her and her antics and how she think and her behavior. I hope you enjoy this video. Happy Pride. I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies, we protect communities. 
with our intellectual property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones and the two. Bitch, not even the three. Because <laughs> men are not providers and protectors, not innately, because they only protect what they possess. But we protect everybody. She we says black men baby, didn't protect okay? her. So I hope you catch a girl tonight, because I hope I do. Ew. <laughs> But she doesn't and even date forget, black men. Before there was feminism, it was lesbians who were living those lives. And she's a feminist who are anti-black men. Worried about niggas. Like, they were so not worried about niggas. They were decentering men. So before there was feminism, there were lesbians. Hey.